What's going on everybody? Eric Barassa here and today I want to talk about a question that comes up a lot with guitar students. Uh, why do you wear your guitar so high? And the answer to that is because high is the new cool. Well now it's cool to wear it high because I said so. The second question people ask me is how do I memorize the major scale all over the fretboard? Do I just practice them going up and down? Well, yes, you should learn that, but as soon as that's done, we want to get as creative as possible. And the trap I see students falling into is they learn how to play the scale up and down, but they can't do anything with it. Furthermore, they don't have it memorized, um, and they don't have it memorized all over the neck in all seven positions, and they can't play it in a bunch of different directions, vertically, horizontally, diagonally, and they get stuck to the paper. So that's the first thing is, number one, we wanna have it memorized. If you're having to look at a sheet of paper to play the scale, you're not ever gonna be able to do anything with it. So memorize it right away. Now, the secret here, the way to memorize these scales the fastest is what you'll see in the available um, PDF download. There's an assignment there where I give you the first box. Okay, but I don't give you the other boxes because the more brain power you can use to fill in those notes yourself and build it on your own, the better it's going to stay in your long-term memory. So let's start here with box one and kind of go through the process. So we're gonna start with G major. It's a very guitar-friendly key. And the key of G major has seven notes. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Now, some people like to do the caged version of these scales, um, and I like to do the three note per string version, uh, especially me playing, I play a lot of legato guitar and I just find it faster to get around. Also, I think the shapes are a little bit easier to see. So, uh, once you've got that and you know what the seven notes are, then you just follow three notes per string. So, if we start on G, well, the next note of the scale is A, and we know that A is up a whole step from G, and then B is up a whole step from A. Okay, so we've used up our three strings on string six. Now, let's go to string five. So we did G, A, B on string six, so the next note must be C on string five. And there's our C. C goes up a whole step to D, D's up a whole step to E, and now we're out of notes on that string. So when we go to the next string, we just did C, D, E, so we gotta do F sharp, G, and A on the D string. F sharp's on the fourth fret, half step to G at five, and then whole step to A at seven. Uh, and then we continue on the next string, B, C, D. Then on the second string, you wanna find E, F sharp, G. And then on the first string, find A, B, C. Once you have built the scale in your mind like that, you can write it down on paper and then practice um, just doing it without thinking about the names of the notes. But once a day, go through and say the names of the notes as you play them. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, R, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, R, G, A, B, C. Don't forget to go backwards. This is where it gets tough. C, B, A, G, F, R, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, R, E, D, C, B, A, G. Okay, cool. So that is your first step in mastering your major scales. The next thing we want to do is start on the next box. So if box one started on G, well, there's seven boxes, one for each of the notes of the scale. So we're going to start the next box on A, and we're going to do three notes per string. So we got to go A, B, C. And then on the next string, D, E, F sharp. And then on the fourth string, G, A, B so on and so forth until you have built on your own without looking at any tab or any music or any fingering or video of it like I just did. Build that second box. On your own. Then box three will start on B. And instead of looking at a piece of paper, just figure out how to build that scale using the three note per string system. 
So as long as you know your half steps and your whole steps, and you know what notes are in the scale, you can find all of the notes of the scale. It's hard, it's hard work, and it's mentally exhausting, but that is how you go from becoming an average player to a great player who really understands the fretboard. So not only will you know the notes of the scale, you will also know the shapes um, really well, and you'll be able to go up and down anywhere you want on the fretboard. So there's a lot more we can say about the major scale, but really this is just step one in how to memorize your major scales.